Hey, welcome back to Thomas Turner. Christmas time. Uh, we know it's Christmas because Santa's got a fishing rod and he's got a plug. And he's also got one stick in the parcel bag, so that's not so good. Now, normally at Christmas time, what happens is somebody says, what do you want for Christmas? And you say, oh, get me anything. So what invariably happens is I end up with this. However, we don't want that. Oi. <laughs> we, we want something that we actually want. So what I thought I'd do is spend a couple of minutes and give you a couple of ideas of things that you may find useful, collectible and uh, desirable at Christmas. So I've got a little array of um, uh, bits and pieces of reels to start with and they run from the relatively budget but very popular JW Young Ambidex casting reel from the 60s, late 50s, 60s. This is a lovely example of the two-piece bail. It works as good today as it did yesterday left and right hand wind. If we move to Hardy's, oh, tag attached, this is for sale, we're taking one of their Conquest sensor pen reels, which is great for anything from silverfish to barbel to chub, even to like carp fishing. Lovely piece of history, only going up in value and can go on cane and glass rods. Something a little bit older, we go to the Hardy, the Silex reel, famous in the late the 1800s through to probably the 60s actually we're still making them but this is a turn of the century model beautifully engineered inside is like a watch still usable and fishable today and price the price point on these tends to have kind of stuck they've always been worth a couple of hundred pounds they haven't shot up to thousands but at the moment I see signs of them creeping so this is good um, both for fishing and short-term investment something a little special in with a collection we bought from Denmark of 300 Abu Ross reels. We have this Swedish flagged 24 karat gold plated Abu, um, probably part of a presentation set or kit. It is brand new, and if I can get it off the, off the plinth, beautiful piece of kit, absolutely fishable today as it should be. So it's nice to display and to use. Uh, moving on to Fowlers, who we have an affinity with. This is one of the 175th edition Regal Reels. A reproduction, if you like, but brought up to date of the original Regal. This is three inch diameter. This is left hand wind. This has a ceramic line guide and it's drop dead gorgeous. Now they made 800 of these reels and they retailed at 800 pounds. We've got a handful left at less than half price. So this is a great, piece of kit to use. It's a good long-term investment. It comes in a zip padded leather case with a certificate and with the follow box. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Going to JW Young again on the modern reels. This is one of their later center pin reels. This is a lightweight series called a super lightweight. As you can see at the back, it's all fretted out as it is in the drum, as it is in the front. Lovely, lovely reel pops apart in seconds. I need that because I've got a tangle just sitting on the table here. Beautiful reel. Um, this one, of course, is no longer made, but these are in the sort of 300 plus ish bracket, brand new old stock. Going way back again. If you fancy something old and usable, this is a stunning Forest of Kelso brass face paint. No, just listen to that. Oh. Forest of Kelso brass patent reel. Your drag is in the centre. It's turn of the century. It's three and a half, uh, three and a quarter inch wide drum with a solid face. This is a beautiful collector's reel. Fishable, absolutely. Presentable, definitely. Comes with its fitted leather case with the maker's details inside and gilt on the red velvet. Right, what a beautiful present that would make instead of socks. So. Finally, going back even further, we go into the 1860s period for a Holroyd of London oh, rolling pillar winch. Hangs that way on the rod, of course. There are rolling pillars here to stop the line strip, and it's anti foul, meaning the line doesn't go behind the crank handle. These are drop dead gorgeous. Considering this is 150, 160 years old, it's still fishable today. So there's an array of um, accessories and reels that you might find are better than a pair of socks. I think having said that, 
since she who cooks is actually videoing this, I better go and find the sauce.